Ireland has reached a deal to give back to Nigeria 5.5 million euros, which is about $6.5 million, looted by former military dictator Sadia Baja. Helen McEntee, Ireland Minister of Justice and Equality, said the Memorandum of Understanding followed an order recently issued by a court in the European country regarding the funds. The Ireland Criminal Assets Bureau froze a loot in 2014 on the request of the uh, administration of then-President Goodluck Jonathan. The money is the latest abacha linked cash reclaimed by Nigeria. Corruption watchdog Transparency International estimates that Abacha, who ruled from 1993 until his death in 1998, stole as much as $5 billion of public money during that time. And joining us live is G.D. Benson, a public affairs commentator. Thanks once again for joining us. Thank you for having me again. I'm going to start with, um, are you excited about stories like this? Um, and, and this is why, because a lot of people would say, you know, all the repatriated funds lately have been used for infrastructure and to the benefit of Nigerians. So does this excite you? It excites me to the point that um, the haven for the loots are no longer um, allowing their places to be used just for havens. Or it, it excites me to the point that we know that someday, somewhere, somehow, those stolen monies will come back to where they belong. It doesn't excite me when I think about what may happen to it. Because we've heard issues, we've heard stories about loots being relooted. So I'm excited on one hand, and I'm not excited on the other hand. My hope and prayer is that this particular one that is coming will be plugged, for instance, into something that we all can see and be excited about. And, and, and so it, 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 it must bother you that um, previous repatriated funds, yes. does it you know, bother you that we don't have any verifiable um, data to show exactly how they were used? And, and how can we also provide better transparency and accountability, better auditing you know, for, for these funds? Yes, it does bother me that we don't have evidence as to how others were used. I mean, there was one of one that was released sometime last year, and it was said that it was going to be plugged into the um, social in investment initiative, which was to distribute cash to people. It's laughable, and I think it's something that the managers of that process should be ashamed about. I mean, if we have a system that says that people should have a BVN, um, I don't think that it will be rocket science to get people to register for BVN if they know that they're going to get monies. Because part of the argument has been that there are a lot of unbanked people. But to get those people to, part of, to be part of the banking system, all you, need to let them, all you need to tell them is that if they do have a bank account, they're going to earn X, Y, Z amount of money. Because when you say you carry cash around and you're distributing it to people, who is monitoring such a, such a process? So I'm not happy about that. And um, you know, how, how would you rather have these funds um, distributed or treated? What would you rather have them or the federal government do with these funds? Well, at a, at a time like this in human history, this particular one, in my, if, I, if I were to advise the government, would be to, to channel a lot of it into the healthcare system. Um, COVID-19 has revealed the extent of the damage and the rot in the health system. I don't know if you, if you remember watching the Secretary of the Government of the Federation when he was appearing before the National Assembly. He alluded to the point that he didn't know how bad the health system was in Nigeria. Um, we've, we've gotten news about a lot of notable Nigerians. Dai, Abba Kiari, um, Buriji Kashamu, the former governor of Boyer State, Biola Jimobi. If money could save those people, money would have saved them. It's because they didn't get the kind of attention that they need. Yes, there's part of the argument that some of them had underlying health issues. And I'm sure that if the skies were open, if other countries were to receive them, many of such people would not be outside Nigeria. So this money should be channeled to help upgrade all uh, university hospitals and general hospitals and federal medical centers. There should be an emergency fund for that. So any, any um, all of the 5.5 million pounds should be should be plugged into the healthcare system to ensure that maybe at least one, we have one world-class medical facility in each of the geopolitical zones. Is there any role that the citizens can play to ensure that um, there is better um, accountability for these funds? Asking. Because it's not the first time we're receiving money. It's not. Um, there's, of course, you also spoke about you know cash being pandered for, you know, to Nigerians across the country when yes. there could have been a BVN. But um, Nigerian citizens, I'm sure, must be concerned you know, yeah. that you know, 
millions and millions and millions of dollars, you know, have been sent back. Yes. And, you know, there's nothing tangible that they can hold on to and, and say that this is what those funds were used to, uh, used to achieve. So what do you think the Nigerian people in themselves can do to demand that these funds are put into good use? The first thing is to avail ourselves of the Freedom of Information Act. Um, it's there. Not many people have used it. And the, the, moment, the, the moment we continue to ask questions through the Freedom of Information Act, I mean, it's law. It allows us to query what? Even sources, sources of funding and expenditure. It allows us to do it. But I'm sure that a lot of people have not taken advantage of that. And the, the other thing will be to make issues like this more topical. And these are the kind of things that we should be using social media for. I mean, about four days ago, we celebrated International Youth Day. The quality of discussions about International Youth Day were less than sterling. They were sub-intellectual. But you know when it has to do with a reality issue, you and I know what happens. Yeah. So that, those are the things I think we should use our social media for, to ask probing questions, make the governments uncomfortable, make the managers of such monies uncomfortable, make the managers of such process uncomfortable. And that, in fact, Take it further by ensuring that the people who are repatriating the fund have some level of control over it. I think it was Switzerland that did that some years ago, that gave the government conditions on how the monies were to be spent. Yes, that's sad that one sovereign is dictating to another sovereign what or how it should spend the money. But we have, we have by ourselves put ourselves in such a position yeah. where such will be dictated to us, and it's very sad. Yeah.